Hey guys, it's Jen coming to you from Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Today I'm going to make you my favorite recipe of our like Italian pizza um, deviled eggs. All right, I know that's going to sound kind of weird. You're like, ew, pizza, eggs. Um, but once you try this recipe, you will never go back to making any other type of deviled eggs. I, I promise you. I took the liberty of peeling those eggs before because um, sometimes eggs, well, they can kind of stress you out. They don't want to peel very well. But today, the eggs were very cooperative. They came out nice. Shells came out in whole. Um, so it was, it was a good day. So I'm going to go ahead and split these up. And again, when I go ahead and I start putting in the garlic and the oregano and the basil and stuff, I'm going to kind of wing the recipe. I want to say it's going to be about a tablespoon or a, tea, sorry, a teaspoon or a half teaspoon of each. Um, but again, most of my recipes, I just kind of eyeball it. So again, I do apologize in advance. Um, one of these things, you can kind of customize it to taste, and we're just going to call it, that's what you're going to have to do with my recipe. So here they are all separated out. What you want to do with those egg yolks is go ahead, and you can take a fork to kind of mash them up to the really fine and crumbly. I found that the best, um, best way of doing this, honestly, is going to be your hands, because they are one of the best cooking tools that are out there. So I'm going to go ahead and crumble those up, get it nice and fine, and I'll show you how we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. Here you go, it's nice fine crumbles. I prefer mine to make them very, very fine crumbles because I don't want to take a big old bite of a egg yolk that doesn't have all the mixture in there. So I've got oregano, garlic, and a little bit of basil. The garlic for this, you only need just a little bit, so maybe, I don't know, a, a pinch. A handful however you want to do it uh, and the basil and the oregano are going to be a little bit heavier I'd say probably about a teaspoon or so of each um, again this is going to be done to your taste so once you make it you might say hey I want a little bit more of this a little bit less of that it's all completely up to you here are the spices in there this is going to be your basil that's going to be your oregano so you see they're kind of about the same amount I did add just a little bit of garlic in there and just a little bit of cracked black pepper because black pepper goes well on just about anything I'm going to mix that in, and the next thing you're going to do is we're going to add the ketchup and the mayonnaise. And again, I just kind of have to eyeball it. It really depends on how many eggs that I use and how much stuff I need. So again, with this one, I'm probably going to use about a tablespoon of each. But again, depending on how many you're making, you might have to add a little bit more or a little bit less. You see, one side is ketchup, one side is mayonnaise. Let me go ahead and mix it up, and I'll show you kind of what it should look like when you're done. Here is the mixture. I did add just a little bit extra ketchup and mayonnaise, probably about equal parts. And I did throw in maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, just a little bit. I generally try not to salt too many things of our food just because we have to have a low-sodium diet, but this kind of kind of needed a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prep a plastic Ziploc bag so I don't have to make a mess trying to spoon it into all those eggs. Um, and I'll get it set up and I'll show you what to do next. So there is my mixture in our makeshift piping bag. Again, I just cut the corner off that little bit so when I go ahead and start squeezing them into the eggs, it should be the perfect amount. You can do it with a spoon if you want. I just found out that um, if you do it the bag where you could squeeze it out is just a little bit cleaner and a whole lot quicker and you don't have to worry about getting, I don't know, the filling all over your fingers and hands and eggs and all that kind of stuff. So you can see with the piping bag it goes really fast getting all these filled up. It kind of gives you a nice clean filling to them. A lot of times you will have a little bit leftover extra mixture, so either you can go back and kind of fill them up, or, and this is a judgment-free zone, I will give that to Eric and he'll just kind of eat the filling out of it. Again, judgment-free zone, so if that's what you want to do because the filling is so tasty, go for it. The last thing I'm going to do, and this is optional, is I'm going to add a little bit of smoked paprika to the top of it. It just gives it a very nice, complex, deeper flavor to it. You could also add cayenne pepper, which is one of my favorites, because again, it just kind of spices it up just a little bit, along with adding just a little bit of smoky flavor. It also makes them look kind of pretty. So if you're trying to do it for presentation, it does make it have a nice look to it. 
All right, there you go. That is my version of deviled eggs. Again, one of our favorites. We've got chickens here, so we always have tons of eggs, and we try to find creative ways of using them up so you're not having the same thing over and over. If you have any questions or comments on the recipe, if you want to kind of give me your insight of what you might make your deviled eggs, please let me know in the comments below, and feel free to like and subscribe.